Chris Hemsworth, you know him as Thor, of course. Uh, <laughs> don't we all? He is uh, currently airing a show on Disney Plus. I believe it's called Limitless. And at first, you know, when you hear about it, you think about the Limitless movie with Bradley Cooper, and you're like, sweet. That's kind of nothing like that. Um, it's Limitless in the fact that he is willing to take on all these new adventures, mm. like clim climbing Mount Everest or doing this or doing that. And in one of the more recent episodes, he had went to see, like, some death doulas, um, and they – and uh, and then he went to see – like some doctors because of that experience or whatever and found out that um, because his father and mother both have the genes for dementia and Alzheimer's that he is 20 times more likely than the average person to end up with it. And so after hearing this news, he decided to announce that um, once he's done with his current kind of slate of things that he's filming and doing that he wants to take a small break from acting. So I do want to go over quickly to this article um, that we have from The Guardian. Um, and I just want to read a little bit of it. Chris Hemsworth has discovered he has significantly heightened risk of developing Alzheimer's disease due to genetic factors prompting the Thor actor to take some time off from acting. The 39-year-old Australian actor who learned he had two copies of the gene APOE4 inherited from both of his parents after undergoing tests as part of his Disney Plus documentary series, Limitless. Those tests confirmed his, quote, biggest fear. Hemsworth told Vanity Fair in an interview showing he has among just 2 to 3% of the population who are as much as 10 times more likely to develop the disease than those w without both copies of the gene. And this is a couple of quotes from Chris Hemsworth himself. It's not like I've been handed my resignation, he, he tells Vanity Fair. Um, but he said working on the show in which he tests his body and explores ways to live longer and healthier, it really triggered something in him to want to take some time off. And Shane, this is what I was telling you when we were talking about it a little bit ago. I don't think it was something that was like, hey, I, maybe I should step away from life. Or I think it was just kind of like, damn, I need, you know, I need a second to kind of process that this shit is going to happen to me one day probably guaranteed and i think that's a lot it's just no different if the doctor told you you were going to die but it would be 30 years from now guaranteed i mean or whatever i mean you still want a second to process the information you heard and that's what i was telling you i see this being a three month six month hiatus and like i was you know we were saying in hollywood that's a ton of time uh to as an actor to to take on no roles for a six month period is like a two or three year period in hollywood um so i think this is a small break i don't see it being this he also further on in the interview does talk about um he's interested in playing thor like one more time maybe and having like a close out of the character and stuff so it sounds like he's kind of getting finished with doing all that and stuff we always hear that with these guys and then and then, you know, a couple of years later, like Chris Evans now, he's like, I want to be Captain America. <laughs> well, the other thing, three years ago, you wanted a break. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Shane, you're hearing this. What are your thoughts on Chris Hemsworth wanting to take a break? Oh, well, first of all, that news is, is just tragic. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I, it, it's honestly uh, um, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's are two uh, things that are worse than death. I'd rather have been given a cancer diagnosis because then it's just like, shit, I'm going to, I'm going to die. That sucks. But with de dementia, I mean, you, you lose yourself and mm -hmm. it could go on decades and the way it affects your whole family. I mean, it is very tragic. Um, However, yeah, it probably affects your family even more. Oh, yeah. Because you don't even know what's happening to you. But mm -hmm. I mean, could you imagine if your mom didn't recognize you anymore? I, yeah, I can't I mean, possibly. I, oh, yeah. God. It makes you want to cry thinking about it. You know, and I, and I hate to say this because I, I just went from very, uh, you know, considerate person to be a, about an a-hole. But I, I got to say, you know, I think most of us would trade in his genes for a spot on Limitless and have the career. I mean, he's doing Mount Everest. I, I'm, <laughs> even at Everest. You're yeah, talking right, about... Right, yeah. Goals that most people, just ordinary people, like if I could just do one of those things. Right. Unless you're a dude that almost won a jet on Pepsi. You know, <laughs> he did climb Everest. Yeah, right. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and so, you know, it's, hey, you know, if it, it 
two percent of the populations you know uh diagnosed with these two genes that is tragic but yeah. you know at least that happened to someone who sees his life and is able to uh you know and i think honestly that's what's going to draw him back mm -hmm. you know obviously everyone needs to step away uh, mentally health issues that, that's a priority for mm -hmm. us all you know to mm -hmm. to process uh to process uh you know any type of news well, well the little bit we do know about dementia and alzheimer's is that your sleep habits have a lot to do with it mm -hmm. right and as a working yeah. actor in hollywood too. and doing all of these things i mean travel too yeah right you want to yeah you know limit some of those things i guess or be I'm able pretty... to get good night's sleep and not work 22 hour days mm -hmm. and shit but sometimes these actors do have to do stuff like that but you know it's the price you pay too i mean this is one life right so mm -hmm. you know you're low yeah, right. I right. mean, it's, it depends on the type of poker player you are. You mm -hmm. know, if you don't mind cashing in your chips to to eke it out, you know, more your way. If you're that person yep. that's going to go all in and may end up bust, right? You know, good yeah. for that. It's definitely too. we're the, all different. Then know when to hold them, when to fold them, and this is definitely not the time to fold them for. And, you know, and also, you know, I I do <laughs> think that this is very clickbaity mm -hmm. article sure. too. You know, we we don't know what's going on in, in his head, and right. we don't know how long what the time break off could is. be a week. And you know, honestly, <laughs> too, for us to even discuss the the time off and the break not only is it clickbaity but it's also inconsiderate because i think most people's reaction is like oh god just yeah well right cool. take some time off bro. yeah yeah right, <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly so, right yeah i can't wait to make uh the thumbnail for this <laughs> tomorrow i'm gonna make sure it's clickbaity as hell, hell yeah for sure um but yeah and you know we wish him the best i mean the thing is is <laughs> um, there's few people honestly on the planet that exists right now that are as healthy as Chris Hemsworth. Mm -hmm. So um, that being said, um, you know, I like his odds and I like his odds of continuing to maintain his health um, as he gets older. Well, um, and I'm glad you brought that up. I mean, we could all be diagnosed for a, and all know we're going to die in 10 years and walk out the door and get hit by the car. Yeah, for I sure. I mean, honestly, I think anytime I get news like this and I hope, the viewers can also take some perspective and try to do this if they don't already is when you hear bad news about like stuff like this is to take, um, you know, just time to reflect on your own life and mm -hmm. realize how grateful, hopefully right. even this, a small portion, even if you're doing right. terrible, hopefully there's something you can concentrate that's positive. Right. And, Especially when, you know, you see, you know, I mean, Chris Hemsworth is a young guy too. You know, you don't want to be diagnosed there? with being twice. Yeah, thirty nine. I mean, man, that's, that's how old I am. I mean, yeah, that yeah. thirty nine, forty is like the new thirty, right? So, <laughs> oh man, I'm going to live my thirty. So yeah, again. you're just turning thirty. Oh Shane. man, not I know, again. right? So you got ten more years to be Hemsworth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost there, <laughs> right? <laughs> or, or in your case, Wolverine. You know, yeah, whatever yeah, you're there going we go. for. Uh, but yeah, guys, you're hearing this news about Chris Hemsworth. Like I said, it, it's really sad news. Um, I was telling Shane too, you know, his father or his grandfather, he was saying had it and he spoke multiple languages and, and when he had it bad, he would cross up languages and they couldn't talk to him and he couldn't explain what he wanted or how he felt and they said he would even make up words and I mean, all that sounds really terrible to think that it could happen to you and so we feel for chris hemsworth um you know we we send him all our love and appreciation and uh we got his thor popcorn bucket so you got my 75 bucks chris uh use it accordingly uh but guys let us know what you think down in the comment section below um uh, do you think he should take a break do you think he shouldn't if so how long a break do you think he'll take or what do you think he should do um definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below